This is the Music History Today podcast for August 13th. On today's show, two stage mishaps have tragic consequences. One band debuts while another one breaks up. First up, though, on this date in 1938, Robert Johnson was poisoned during a gig with Sonny Boy Williamson in Greenwood, Mississippi, and passed away a couple days later. In 1952, Big Mama Thornton recorded the original version of the song Hound Dog. In 1957, the Five Royals recorded the song dedicated to the one I love. In 1959, Brenda Lee recorded her song Sweet Nothings. In 1963, VJ Records was sued for non-payment of royalties for the very first time. They were sued by the group The Four Seasons. In 1964, the Supremes recorded their classic song, Baby Love. In 1966, Jefferson Airplane performed on stage for the first time. In 1966, a radio station in Longview, Texas was struck by lightning, knocking an engineer out and severely damaging the station. The station had held a bonfire rally to protest the Beatles and to burn their records because of John Lennon's The Beatles Are More Popular Than Jesus comment during an interview. God apparently responded. In 1967, Joan Baez's concert in Washington, D.C. was canceled because of her anti-Vietnam War stance after she was protested against by the Daughters of the American Revolution. In 1973, Johnny Moore reunited with the Drifters. In 1975, Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band played the first of their five shows at the Bottom Line in New York City, which got them critical acclaim and attention. In 1977, Bachman Turner Overdrive broke up for the first time. They got back together again in 1982. In 1988, Robert Smith of The Cure married his childhood girlfriend, Mary Poole. In 1990, Curtis Mayfield was paralyzed in a stage accident when a lightning tower fell and hit him. In 1993, Steely Dan reunited. In 1994, Nine Inch Nails had their now legendary mud performance on day two of Woodstock 94. Melissa Etheridge also performed that day, which boosted her career as well. In 1999, the Bollywood musical Tal premiered in movie theaters. In 2011, a scheduled performance by Sugarland at the Indiana State Fair went horribly wrong. When, moments before they were supposed to go out on stage, a storm caused the stage to collapse onto the crowd below, killing six people and injuring dozens more. Also in 2011, John Mellencamp, Willie Nelson, and Neil Young were among those who performed at the Farm Aid 25 charity concert. In 2018, Ugandan pop singer and politician Bobby Wine was arrested at a campaign rally in his country and tortured. In 2020, Selena Gomez's cooking show Selena and Chef premiered on HBO Max. And in 2022, Beyonce became the first female artist to have her first seven albums hit number one when her album Renaissance hit the top spot. In classical music in 1876, the Bayreuth House was opened. Albums that were released on August 13th included in 1956 when Gene Vincent released Blue Jean Bop and Bill Haley and his Comets released Rock and Roll Stage Show. In 1962, Aretha Franklin released The Tender, The Moving, The Swinging Aretha Franklin. In 1965, The Beatles released Help. In 1970, King Curtis released Everybody's Talkin'. In 1973, Leonard Skinner released Pronounced Leonard Skinner. In 1979, Chicago released Chicago 13. In 1982, Don Henley released I Can't Stand Still. In 1987, Twisted Sister released Love is for Suckers. In 1990, The Pixies released Bossa Nova. Duran Duran released Liberty. And Curtis Mayfield released the Return of Superfly soundtrack. In 1991, Brooks and Dunn released Brand New Man. Kid Creel and the Coconuts released You Shoulda Told Me You Were. And Aldo Nova released A Portrait of Aldo Nova. 
1993, Sheena Easton released No Strings. In 2002, James Taylor released October Road. In 2007, David Gray released A Thousand Miles Behind. In 2010, Bruce Springsteen released The Collection, 1973 to 1984. And in 2013, Luke Bryan released Crash My Party. Singles that were released in the UK on August 13th include in 1971 when Paul and Linda McCartney released The Backseat of My Car and The Supremes released Nathan Jones. In 1982, Billy Idol released Hot in the City and in 1983, Whitesnake released Guilty of Love. Meanwhile, in America, in 1963, Bob Dylan released the classic song Blowing in the Wind. And in 1984, Janet Jackson released Don't Stand Another Chance. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 13th include Don Ho of Tiny Bubbles fame, rapper Baby Blue, Ian Holland of the group Europe, singer Dan Fogelberg, singer Reese Bibby, singer Mo, singer Lennon Stella, rapper Jamin, Huey Thomason of The Outlaws, Danny Bonaducci of The Partridge Family, Cliff Fish of Paper Lace, John Stokes of The Bachelors, blues pianist Jimmy McCracklin, jazz man George Shearing, pianist Baby Cortez, Rick Parnell of Atomic Rooster, singer Fergal Sharkey, and also bassist Michael Bradley, both of the group The Undertones. Singer Scott Powell of the group Sha Na Na, opera singer Kathleen Battle, reggae musician Pluto Shevington, pianist Mulgrew Miller, country music musician Andy Griggs, drummer Mike Malenkin of the group Emerson Drive, American Idol singer Lacey Brown, composer Augustin Block, guitarist Joe Puma, Dixieland trombonist Big Chief Russell Moore, Jazz trumpet player Nate Capesbeer of Benny Goodman's band. And jazz musician and actor Charles Buddy Rogers. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 13th include cellist Bernard Romberg, who passed away in 1841 at the age of 73. Composer Adolf von Doss passed away in 1886 at the age of 62. Gospel singer Ira D. Sankey passed away in 1908 at the age of 67. Composer Jules Massenet passed away in 1912 at the age of 70. Conductor Fritz Steinbach passed away in 1916 at the age of 61. Composer Julian Aguirre passed away in 1924 at the age of 56. Organist and composer Fernand de la Tombelle passed away in 1928 at the age of 74. Composer Paul Hillmacher passed away in 1933 at the age of 80. Composer Valerie Shabalbinsky passed away in 1946 at the age of 33. Musicologist Tobias Norland passed away in 1947 at the age of 68. Musicologist Hermann W.S. Walter Schausen passed away in 1954 at the age of 71. Singer and actor Henri Garay passed away in 1959 at the age of 57. Singer Joe Hinton passed away in 1968 at the age of 38. Composer Victor Trambitsky passed away in 1970 at the age of 75. Saxophonist King Curtis of the Memphis Soul Stew was stabbed in New York City in 1971 at the age of 37. 
blues and funk saxophonist Tina Brooks passed away from liver failure in 1974 at the age of 42. Soul singer Joe Tex passed away in 1982 at the age of 49. African-American opera singer and the first black female performer to sing on an opera stage in the United States. Katerina Jarboro passed away in 1986 at the age of 88. Composer Vincent Perciacetti passed away in 1987 at the age of 72. Violinist and composer Raymond Gaulos Montbrun passed away in 1994 at the age of 75. Blues singer Jesse Thomas passed away in 1995 at the age of 84. Composer David Tudor passed away in 1996 at the age of 70. Composer Luis Talma passed away in 1996 at the age of 89. Singer Nino Ferrer passed away in 1998 at the age of 63. Singer-songwriter Nazia Hassan passed away from lung cancer in 2000 at the age of 35. Songwriter Ed Townsend passed away in 2003 at the age of 74. Francine Baker, who was the original Peaches in the disco duo Peaches and Herbs, passed away in 2005 after an illness at the age of 58. Singer Tony J passed away in 2006 at the age of 73. Guitarist John Nodvit of the group Dissection committed suicide in 2006 at the age of 31. Composer Tudor Jarda passed away in 2007 at the age of 85. Drummer Alan Schellenberger of the group Lit passed away from cancer in 2009 at the age of 39. Accordionist Steve Jordan passed away in 2010 at the age of 71. Musicologist Topi Sorsakowski passed away in 2011 at the age of 58. Country music singer Topal Glazer passed away in 2013 at the age of 79. John Brooks of the group The Charlatans passed away from cancer in 2013 at the age of 44. Flute player Franz Bruggen passed away in 2014 at the age of 79. And singer-songwriter Nancy Griffith passed away in 2021 at the age of 68. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 14th, when in 1974, Neil Peart played with Rush for the very first time. 